just hours after a performance right here in our area in Ponte Vedra Beach, comedian Bob Saget died in a Florida hotel room. Police say that there were no signs of drugs or foul play. It's here at the Ritz Carlton Orlando where he was found. His last tweet was sent after his show Saturday night and it said, love tonight's show at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall in Jacksonville, appreciative audience. Saget was best known for his role as Danny Tanner in the 1990s hit Full House. Let's go, Mom. Your bags are in the cab. The meat is running. No buttered bread. And definitely no buttered brad. Try humor, great smile, great dad. He had all the classic one-liners as the beloved girl dad of the 90s. Welcome to Action News Jacks at Noon, everyone. I'm Don Lopez. Locals who attended the show on Saturday night in shock as the news broke late last night. Action News Jacks Jessica Barreto joins us live right now from the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. Jessica, you spoke with a fan who was there. That's right, and he says it's all very shocking. In fact, the Florida Theater, which runs this uh, con Ponte Vedra Concert Hall, they gave us a statement which said that basically that Saget had performed twice in the last year, once in July downtown, and then Saturday night right here at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. Now many are grappling with the fact that he has passed just hours after taking the stage here. So Beloved Full House time? actor and comedian Bob Saget sent out this tweet at 342 Sunday morning after wrapping up his show in Ponte Vedra. A smiling Saget praising his audience, writing, Love tonight's show, alluding to how quickly it went by, saying, I had no idea I did a two-hour set and I'm happily addicted again to this. He even pointed to upcoming dates. The show was awesome, and then he actually brought out a guitar and played a guitar and had some funny written songs that he played for about the last 30 minutes of the show. Murray Beard was in the third row, snapping this picture just before Saget took the stage. He was really excited and happy about being out and being in front of an audience and kept reiterating to us, the audience, how, how much fun he was having. At 746 Sunday night, roughly 16 hours later, Orange County Sheriff's Office tweeted that Saget had been found dead inside a hotel room at the Ritz Carlton, Orlando. Authorities said there were no signs of foul play or drug use. The Florida Theater saying it was heartbroken by the sudden news. And I just couldn't wrap my head around that. It happened so soon after when we saw him. Beard says Saturday's show honored Saget's legacy. He just kept coming back to the fact that my goal in life is just to make people laugh. Now, the Florida Theater also said in that statement that Bob was a super nice guy and a terrific person to work with. His cause of death has not been formally announced, and we do know he was 65 years old. If we have any other updates, we'll be sure to share those with you on air and online. Now, reporting live in Ponte Vedra, Jessica Brito, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Thanks, Jess. And we're hearing from Saget's co-stars from Full House, like Candace Bure, who says, I love you so much. I don't want to say goodbye. 35 years wasn't long enough. You'll remember she was the big sister on Full House. And then we also have this from John Stamos. It says that I'm broken, I'm gutted, I'm in complete and utter shock. I will never ever have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. And then we have this from Dave Coulier, who played Uncle Joey, you'll remember. And he says, I will never let go, brother. Love you. We have a section on our Action News Jacks Facebook page where you can send your condolences and share memories as well. Search Action News Jacks.